Hey Lightweights and welcome back to some more Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, last video we made it to our new camp at Horseshoe... Horseshoe Overlook, I think? Um, <laughs> and we also went to the town Valentine. Um, when we were there, we uh, stopped a fight between Tilly and some guy. Uh, we rescued one of the other girls, I can't remember what her name was, but she was getting beaten in the hotel. Uh, we also got into a brawl in the saloon and some guy recognized us and we had to chase him down. Uh, I decided to save him because I'm trying to have Arthur be kind of a good guy, I guess. Uh, so we'll see if that comes back to bite me in the butt. Um, but it was a very, very productive episode. We got a lot done. Um, we also met Trelawney finally. So Hopefully we get to figure out who he is a little bit more uh, in the future. So I'm really excited to keep playing. Uh, there was, I think, three or four quests that had popped up on the map, so I'll pick one of those and start right off um, doing the main storyline. Uh, I did not do any exploration between videos. Hopefully I'll have a chance to do some after this video. Um, and I think that's pretty much where we left off. So I'm going to stop rambling. Uh, before we get into the video, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post the next one. Here we go. Okay, um, so now to pick a quest. We've got three in camp and this one down here. Um, I think I'm going to start with this one just because it's kind of the singular one. And that's just the way my brain works. So I'm going to go there first. But I don't know where my horse is. Oh, my horse is at camp. So maybe I stop at camp and get my horse, and then I go? You mean to tell me I have to run all the way here? Good to see you back. Okay, well I'm going to get my horse, and then I'll pick up the video once I have my horse. What's the hold up? Okay guys, um, I made it to Reverend Swanson. There were two funny things that happened on my way here. Um, <laughs> the first is that I ran into some O'Driscolls um, and I had an interesting encounter there so I'm gonna put that clip right here. And the second, I was passing somebody who looked like they were having issues with their horse, and I stopped to greet them to try to help them out, and here's what happened. Hey! Need a hand with your horse? What the hell's your problem? <laughs> Shit. You forgot yourself a minute there. So, 
Uh, other than that, <laughs> I made it here without a hitch. Uh, I just walked into the building that he is in, and we are going to talk to him now. Play your damn hand. Hello there. Mr. Morgan. I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your god has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him, he's finished. Hey, none of us force liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither, but seeing I do just fine. You want to step outside or do a business here? I just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They are children of God. How's about you playing this place, huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? Sure. Sure. Might as well. I'll play a few hands. Well, sit yourself down then. Reverend, where are you going? I'm Luther. This is Marvin. Oh, God, I've never played poker. Fortunate for you both, we're being gentlemen about this. Same goes for you. So, how you two know each other anyway? Don't seem like the likeliest of friends, if you don't mind me saying. We go a long way back. And now you're his chaperone? I guess it's something like that. Can we play? You can call to match the current bet or He can't be no it. real clergyman. <laughs> He committed about five cardinal sins just in that chair you're sitting in. I think he used to be. He's drifted a little in recent years. Uh, life is a challenge to all of us. Can you imagine him at the pulpit? If he could stand up. On the fourth day, he turned water into whiskey, and I don't remember much after that. <laughs> <laughs> He's a decent fella going through a bad time. Disrespect him again, and you'll find yourself in a bad time, too. All right, all right. Here. It is a game, after all, mister. Is that good? I know that it's good to have two queens. Sometime before we Screw all it. I'm a little wager. Is that it? I don't know what I'm doing. That's really good, right? I think so, because we've got two things matching. Here. Sure. Just a little. Come on, at least make it interesting. Here. This ain't what you call finishing strong. Big pile of nothing. <laughs> yeah! Could have been worse. Two pair. <laughs> okay. Woohoo, 78 cents. All right, well, I'm done now. Can I go? I'm leaving. Gentlemen, I'm this. this is getting too rich for me. Well, sit down. Oh, I'm done, friend. It's been a real education. Come on, Rip. Where is he? Where'd he go? Who? The Reverend. Where is... <sighs> Excuse me, gentlemen. He slunk off. Reverend! Reverend Swanson! Where'd you go? Excuse me, I'm sorry. You, you see a drunken idiot, a priest, wandering about? Sure. 
We saw him, smelt him, and avoided him. <laughs> he went that way, I think. Thanks. Yeah, I look kind of crazy, mister. Well, you have no idea. I like this music. With me. Why do we always have to fight people? Oh, oh, You're going okay. down. What you saw back there? You're a dead man. You understand me? Yep. I I won't tell us so. I promise. Good. Get the hell out of here. It's the last thing Damn I it. needed. You made me run. Reverend! Get off the damn tracks! Ugh, oh, Reverend, you idiot. What if a train comes? All of our stamina increasing. Ugh. Almost out of the core, though, or whatever it's called. <laughs> I like how we actually pant. Come on, a friend. It's just a simple mistake. You can still be saved. What are you doing? Huh? Oh my god, is that a train? It appears to like this place. I was to stay. Get your foot out of here! Twist your leg, you drunken oh bastard! Oh my god, we're gonna get run over! You. What the hell is wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like there that? There was a goddamn train, you crazy bastard! <sighs> Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I was different. <laughs> Let's get you home. Home? Yeah, that's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret? Who's Margaret? What? Pick up Reverend Swanson. <clears throat> Turn him to horseshoe overlook. Uh, Stow. <laughs> Flop him on the back there. Hey. I want my hat. Where did I get my hat? Didn't it say I could... No. I thought it said I could get it from my horse. Back there. Over, boy. Let's 
go, but let's not go on the train tracks. Yeah. Margaret! Uh, what are you mumbling about now? Imagine bouncing up and down on the back of a horse when you're drunk. Not a pleasant experience. Can you shut up? And we're going to take you to bed so that you can sober up. Just all of the little well, I was camp wondering noises. When show up. Are you Irish? Hi, John. Hi. Anyways, all the little camp noises and everything. All the small details. <laughs> You better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. Oh, what happened? Just the usual. Poor <coughs> bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Real lucky. We look so damn good in our hat. Miss Mary Beth. Strauss, Kiernan, Hosea. Um, I guess let's do Hosea. I like him the best. I don't really know how I feel about Strauss yet. Hey, Arthur. Jose? You want to go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? <laughs> I wish. No. I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. No, nope, I don't God. Have this. But you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go then. I don't want to do this one. Oh, you I still ain't back. replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but ain't no boat to see. I've been meaning to offload this big shire horse for a while now, unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big 
loudmouthed bastard tried to rob me was out riding, so I... Well, you know how it is. I see. Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way, sort of. There's a decent dealer there. We'll unload him, you could buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on them. Let's get going. Okay. But well, I do kind of like this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses. And the stables always have the best ones. Oh, well, I guess you're right. This guy is awesome. <laughs> this is going to be fun, Arthur. He won't throw me? No, he's an angel. If I'm near him. He's huge. Nasty little look in his eyes. Oh, don't be rude about this magnificent creature. Okay, boy. Easy, big fella. He right, reminds let's me. Let's head into town. No bar fights, please. I heard about that. I'll do my best. What was the name of that? Might be gone a couple of days. What's the name of that horse that you got from the Dark Brotherhood in Skyrim? <laughs> Another one that would come out of the water. They got a good range of horse tack at the Valentine stables. Some beautiful saddles. I used to have a real nice one. Yeah, what happened to that? Got stolen Ooh, outside zippy. that saloon in Deer Creek. Ah, oh, I remember now. Just about. <laughs> that turned into a long day. Yes. Remember? Mac went crazy. Threatened to kill the whole town. And Davy was passed out so cold we left him there, came back in the next day, and he woke up and started right back drinking again. <laughs> uh, I miss those boys. Jenny, too. She had some spot, that girl. It must be pretty hard on Lenny. You could tell he was sweet on her. Well, Lenny and Jenny could never have worked. That's like Arthur and Martha, or Bill and Phil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. Does feel a bit like our luck died with them, too. Nonsense. We'll be all right. Just need some money to get back on our feet. I hope so. You find a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? Not yet. They're still very hot. Need to be done right. I have a couple of leads I'm looking into. Don't let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. Hey, he's all right. What would have agitated him? Did I miss something? Hey, Stables are I just can't get up over ahead. Those mountains. They're so pretty. Who's got mouths to feed, huh? Give him one of these ribs. All right. Go sell that. Excuse me. Fruit. Buy yourself a horse. Okay. I'm going off to the general store. Get a few things to lure that bear out with. <laughs> Meet you back here in a bit. Hey, how can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse. Something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. <laughs> yeah. Look at the flies. Yeah, what about this one here? Yeah, are you looking to sell? I show sure, you. Yeah. You got papers? No. No papers. Well, of course, that's going to affect what I can pay. But your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. He'll pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable him here for you. Here, take a look. Stabling your horse allows you to store it at the stables so you can access it later. If you sell the horse... Oh. <laughs> Do I sell it or stable it? I'm going to stable it for now because I'm assuming I could sell it later. those ones. Ooh, I like that one though. Okay. Well. Okay, now what?
I don't really have money to be spending on anything, so I'm not gonna worry about that right now. All right, partner. You got yourself a deal. And a fine new horse. I hope so. Well, I don't sell anything other than good animals. You have my word on that. Here are your papers. And on me, a new grooming brush. And some treats. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah. All right, you. You treat this fella well. I know he's gonna look after you just fine. Interesting choice. How much did you pay for that thing? Not that much. Okay. Well, with some good care, you should be able to make something of it. Why can't I eat? Hop on up there, let's go. Let's get going. We got quite a ride ahead of us. There we go. Thank you. Lead the way. So This lake we're heading for. It's called O'Cray's Run, up in the mountains east of Cumberland Falls. I just hope I can remember how to get there. Back into the mountains? I sure didn't figure on that. But this time, we're doing the chasing. We so look like how we're too big for our with horse. You and John? Fine. Ain't it about time you let it go now? It was a year, Jose. He ditched us for a goddamn year. I've spoken to him many times. He knows he did wrong. He just wants to put it behind him. I'm sure he does. Running off on that kid is one thing, but there's code. He knows that. He ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised him. I know. But it's done. Has been for a while now. Nobody else would have been welcomed back that easy after that long, and you know it. Why did he leave? Do we know? Okay, I think we need to head right up here. Yes, I remember this place. Moonstone Pond. We're going the right way. It's okay, girl. What is that little thing that keeps popping up on the heart?
rabbits. Maybe we should catch one to cook. Sure. Try and shoot one. You don't want to use anything too powerful on a small animal like that. Just ruin the meat. Best thing's a bow or a 22 caliber varmint rifle. I have hunted rabbits before, you know. Yes, and obliterated them with a shotgun, if I remember right. I think that's a brush, right? So I'm gonna brush you. Guess we'll see if it goes away if I do that. Oh, you're pretty. Okay, girl. Good girl. Okay. Um. Anymore? Oh shoot, am I supposed to skin it? Oops. Do I want to take it? Good job. It's kind of gross, but also cool. All right. It's getting late. Wreck, we should camp here. Sure. Well, then you get us. This is your camp. You can use it to craft, cook, and sleep. Right up. Uh, I'm famished. Cook that rabbit, then. They're delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me. Select the plain game. You want some of this? No, That's I'm cool. fine. I don't like eating this late. Okay. <laughs> After all that. All right. Well. We better get some rest. I want to be up at first light to find this monster. He better be worth all this drama. I'm really not ready to face a bear.
Sure. There you go. So, what's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track them, but we might need to lay bait to draw them out. Bears like fish, obviously, but they also have a sweet tooth. A lot of fellas bait then shoot from the trees, but I prefer to hunt on the ground. More dangerous. But we'll have a much better chance of getting a good shot in. And if he bolts, we can start right off after him. Can you mix up this bait for me while I finish packing this up? Fish, berries. I'll tie it up in that rag when you're done. Yeah. I hope you know what you're talking about. I grew up in the mountains. Select a potent predator bait for the rest of your I was virtually weaned on bear meat. Just okay. mix it together. It's not too hard. It's done. Good. Pack up and we'll get going. Come on, grab your stuff. And let's go. Okay, let's go. You can make ammo at the campfires. Come on, the girl. That's cool. We'll try our luck down by the water. That's where I saw him last. Okay. How's that horse treating you? So far, so good. You know, I was in this area with Bessie years ago. Really? I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever think about getting out of the lot? Yeah, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young. Didn't last long. I drifted back into it. She understood. She knew what I was. I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were looser back then. Truth is, there's never really any getting out. And staying in, it's hard. You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. Why? You thinking about getting out? Me? No. Of course not. Listen, if Dutch's grand plans work, and we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new, maybe we can all have a new start. Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Let's slip by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. Look for tracks, dung, bones, any sign of him. Oh, that's cool. Well, there's some paw marks here, Jose. He sure look big enough. Good. Let's hope it's him. Can you... This way. For Trap. some reason, I have such a hard time tree. following this. Eaten fish here. Must have been left by our friend, I reckon. Come on, see if there's anything else. It's really pretty here. Oops. Right there. Something else on the ground, just here. Bear shit here. Watch your step. <laughs> Bear shit real here. Fresh. Reckon he's got to be close. Let's keep going. Damn it. Looks like the trail is. We lost him? For now. A little optimism, Arthur. Well, what do you think? I think we split up in each look. Either that no. or... 
We could place bait here. That could work. Which do you think? Um, I don't want to split up, so we're placing bait. Let's bait here. Fine by me. Let's leave the bag over there. By those boulders Splitting up ahead, up. looks like a good spot for it. This is never a good plan. guys I forgot my gun no shit this is gonna be so bad a thousand pounds you say more or less oh. big scar down his face hey shit. did that bait look okay to you I think so you're the expert ready with your gun there I'm good you okay she nervous. <gasps> so do you. I'm fine. Uh, I Let's am nervous. Let's just take a look at that bait. Sure. Come on. We only just said it, Jose. I know, but we need to do this right. Why do we need this bear? Hand here. Got your knife? Shit. <laughs> Easy. Now it's too close. Let's just take a look at that bait. Sure. How do you shoot again? Come on. We only just said it, Jose. I know. Right. What do you have here? Got take your knife? Two. Shit. Easy. Too close. You're fine, old man. Of course I'm fine. It's, it's nothing. It's just nothing a at all. Back, that's all. Thank you. I think. <laughs> that was fun. <sighs> you know what, yes, Arthur Morgan? I'm a Sorry. little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. You can have this. What is it? It's a map. A man in a bar gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another story. <laughs> he said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to... Lick my wounds. <laughs> you coming, or you gonna track that monster? Well, you coming or not? I'm not gonna kill the bear right now. We'll do it later. I'm coming with you. <laughs> Let's get going, then. Let's see if Dutch gives us any crap about disappearing like that. Ah, 
I don't need another. We gotta be out there making money speech. We were just out scoping a lead. He doesn't need to know it was a big furry one. Well, thanks, Arthur. I probably owe you one. Don't worry about it. I need to head out to Emerald Ranch soon, look into something. See you later. Try and get information on Driscoll's from Kiernan. I guess we'll talk to Strauss because this seems like a shorter quest. Because he just wants to talk. To Lenny. My dear Leonard, it is only three days since you and your mother stood on that platform so dutifully until my train was out of sight, and already I feel compelled to write. How handsome you looked then. You must learn chastity young and learn it well. There are truths a man of my upbringing finds it easier to sit down than to speak, even to his son. I expect it's not easy for you, easy for a boy to understand. In some ways, I hope you do not understand it. Here is one such truth. I know that I have sometimes been more tutor than father to you, but do not let my sermons on your future as a lawyer persuade you that I see you more as a pupil than son. When we meet again on Sunday next, I expect I will have stiffened once more. But this brief distance gives me liberty to tell you that you have redeemed more than you know, or can ever know, or should ever be expected to bear. I expect the yard to be clear of snow when I return. I see that it bores you, but you must learn to accommodate yourself to all useful labor, however menial. And as always, read this letter aloud to your mother, and where I have written is not, do not say, ain't. I am, as ever, your loving father. Good morning. A stew without good meat is no stew at all, Mr. Morgan. Uh, you know, I'll just come back later. Where's this creepy Strauss guy? Hey! How are you, Jack? Hear you was sick? A little bit, but Uncle Hosea gave me some medicine. Herr Morgan! Herr Morgan! Mr. Strauss. You busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Loaning. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted Sky, runs the operations there, badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. I just miss him so much. Of course you do. Goes without saying. Well, what am I gonna do? You're gonna suffer. <laughs> and life's gonna go on. That's the truth of it. I, I won't lie to you. Oh, Miss Roberts. I know. Where, where am I gonna go? Stay here with us. <laughs> Folk, they ain't so bad. It's nasty out there on your own. I know. You'll be safe here. 
At least for now. Till you're back on your feet properly. <laughs> Thank you. Of course. Mm -hmm. Oh, excuse you, Abigail. You can stay with us as long as you want. Thank you. It's the least we can do. All right, I guess I'm going to talk to Kiernan quickly. Can I do that? Or no, because I have the other quest going. You seem chipper. Where there's life, there's hope, my friend. And? Mr. Morgan. Can I ask you a favor, it, if it's convenient, I mean? Sure. If you're out on your adventures and you see any herbs for seasoning, would you mind grabbing them for me? Seasoning? Yes. Don't tell Mr. Pearson. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Companions will sometimes ask for help retrieving an item. Find and return it to them in camp for a reward. Can anybody spare me a bite? Please don't hurt me. What do you think of your new home? Let me go now, please. No can do. Alrighty, guys. Uh, we have to stop there. Um, another pretty eventful video. Uh, I really need to get better at remembering to grab my weapons off my horse because that was almost really bad with the bear. Uh, <laughs> it only took me two attempts, so I'll take it, but I was really terrified killing a bear that's supposed to be over a thousand pounds with a revolver. It was just a bad plan. It was a really bad plan. So hopefully I get more used to that. Uh, next video we will pick up with the quest from Air Strauss. Uh, and then hopefully do that quest from Kiernan to kind of see what's going on there. Try to get some information from him. Uh, the game is still beautiful. I'm still having a lot of fun. It's still taking me a while to kind of get used to the, the controls and things like that. But it's not as bad as I was worried it would be at the very beginning. So I'm excited to kind of get out of the more training area and just be able to do my own thing. Um, and just to see what the world is like when you can explore and do things on your own. Uh, I hope that you are enjoying the playthrough so far. If you are, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post the, the next video <laughs> as I get tongue tied. As always, thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I hope you enjoyed it. Have an amazing day, you guys.